This is your right humerus. Located laterally is your radius and medially is your ulna. And I wanted to show you these articulated. I'm gonna remove the radius. And if you'll remember, this right here is your trochlea. And the trochlea articulates with the trochlear notch of your ulna. So let me just show it to you like this. When you bend your arm, the trochlear notch travels around the trochlea, this portion right here. And if you bend your arm like this, this region is if you remember the coronoid fossa. And it is the coronoid process of the ulna that will articulate right there. And posteriorly is your olecranon fossa. And the ulna kind of hooks onto it like that. And up top, the part that articulates and goes in right there is the olecranon process. So, once again, this is the olecranon process. This notch right here is your trochlear notch. And then this process right here is the coronoid process. And if you'll notice right there, there's this little smooth articulating surface right there. That is exactly where the head of the radius will fit in. And that structure is called your radial notch. This is the shaft of the bone. And the head of the ulna is actually gonna be distal. So this is the head of the ulna. And that little styloid looking piece right there is the styloid process of the ulna. These are your right forearm bones. This is an anterior view. So if this is an anterior view, this is your radius, which is most lateral. And this is the ulna, which is most medial. Right here, where the radial notch is located on the ulna, it articulates with the head of the radius right there. This part that kind of goes, swoops inward, this is the neck of the radius. Right here, this little rough part that juts out along the smooth region, this is the radial tuberosity, this rough region in it. Together, they kind of articulate with the ulna, like that. Alrighty. This is the shaft of the radius. And this is the styloid process of the radius, which will point laterally to help you orient yourself, to know that this is a right radius. And also, just remember that the head of the radius is proximal but the head of your ulna is gonna be distal.